Unfortunately, many children experience trauma, whether it be from abuse, neglect, homelessness, domestic violence, or witnessing violence in their communities. Our adolescent years are perhaps the most tender years of our development, both mentally and physically, and it is the events in these years that shape our vision of the world around us. I want children in Guyana to have a better view of the world. So many of them deserve to live a better life, and I believe through sports and physical activity that they can do this. My interest and love for sport has opened up my eyes to the world of possibilities, in that it contributes positively to a child's personal development by strengthening and building both mental and physical health. During my high school years, I found myself being pulled in many directions and feeling incapable of living up to expectations. I too struggled with the how, why, and when of growing up. As a result, I felt overwhelmed, anxious, and constantly irritated. As I turned to sport, I found myself a coping mechanism. The years went on where I was able to control and overcome many of the issues I struggled with. Childhood trauma is a silent dictator in the lives of many youth across the world. Here in Guyana, we lack the resources to truly help many of those who experienced traumatic events in their childhood. However, slowly, we are moving towards education, policy implementation, mitigation, and eventually, hopefully, eradication. After looking at the options for treatment of mental health issues, we found that treatments either go on the side of antidepressants or medication to help control symptoms. Medication which have side effects that can be detrimental and only pose as a temporary relief. Coupled with therapy, it can have a bit more longevity, but this is still a temporary treatment option. This brings us to our ideal intervention. Allow me to introduce you to the Healthy Holy Approach. It was introduced to basically all sports discipline that we have in Guyana that we push, which was uh, table tennis, swimming, soccer. We had general fitness, which I personally teach. Uh, we had a little bit of boxing. We had basketball. We had football. But given the energy and given the attention, these kids were so receptive. I thought it was a lack of neglect initially. And once, they sh once we showed them that we were very interested in sp getting them into sports, and Ms. Ambika was very passionate about what we was trying to do, you will find that they was like, wow, someone cares. And they came completely to life. What I saw, it showed them that they're not forgotten, that they are Guyanese and the country is doing something for them. Uh, to give the kids exposure to stuff that they might have seen on TV, a kid coming from a, a challenging environment, again, it just let them know that they're not forgotten, that anything is possible no matter where you're from. The program highlights the importance of the link that exists between your mental and physical facets of health. It takes into account how one's deterioration can affect the other and aims to maintain that balance while also giving these youth a tool to cope with the stresses of their lives. Involvement in sports and physical activity, along with therapy and mentoring, all form a long-term solution for these children. One which does not necessarily require a child to have to depend on one person or drug for relief. It also not only acts as a treatment option, but as a preventative one. Some of the children, they have experienced neglect, abuse, some physical, some sexual. Some of them have experienced some form of bereavement also. So this has caused an impairment in some important functioning of their lives. And um, this program has been addressing these things and identifying and offering a way for the children to escape the encompassing feelings that the trauma might have caused. Yes. Guyana Golden Lives Organization provides support while addressing the multitude of challenging issues following the death of a loved one. And Miss World Guyana 2018 Queen, she is addressing trauma in childhood. And like grief, it's a very traumatic event. So we have been partnering to provide support for the children, especially those who have been experiencing some, for, some form of trauma beyond grief. Trauma causes a dip in any person's mental health. 
And some persons are resilient and some are not. And especially children who don't even know what trauma is, cannot even identify the emotions that they're going through. What I've seen with the Healthy Holy program, it has given them those skills to be resilient. It's given them those skills to express themselves, to reach out to persons, to form relationships. Um, and it is amazing because for the times that I visited the program and saw how Ambika and the other volunteers interacted with the children, it was definitely something you know will be long term and it will have an impact on their lives. Our program saw 50 plus kids being involved in various sports and activities. Some they were familiar with and others they were completely new to. And many of them even formed a love for one sport or another. The children not only found a love, but discovered a talent in areas they may not have been able to without this program. Completing my six week program has opened up my eyes to the fact that there are so many youth dealing with mental health issues. And sometimes all they need and all they want is for someone to listen to them. I hope that my beauty with a purpose can continue to make changes in the lives of youth across my country and someday maybe even across the world, bettering the mental and physical health of our people one child at a time. The changes that we saw in these children's lives would have never been possible had it not been for my team that worked diligently with me to help see this program into fruition. I would like to thank the Miss World Ghana organization, my mom, and every individual and company that came on board to make this program a success. From the bottom of my heart, thank you. And to my kids, I love you so much and you've made such an impact on me and I'm sure on all the lives that would have crossed paths with yours. So thank you for everything that you've taught me and everything that you will continue to teach me as time goes on.